Okay, I keep hearing about the the two 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 whatever the fuck. So let's take a look and see what two twenty two twenty twenty two what so what does this mean? You know? And I'm very open to the answer being nothing. Um but let's just see what the cards say because uh you know, a bunch of people are talking about the the two portal or whatever the whatever. I'm not a numerology guy. I'm a tarot and palm guy. Um, but it it does seem like maybe it is significant for anyone using the calendar that we use. So let's see. Oh, geez. This thing just flew out and in, into my lap, and it's the Five of Pentacles, and the Five of Pentacles is basically about exile and sort of like, um, not exactly being financially secure, right? But it's about kind of feeling alone and judged and exiled. Anyway, I don't really know how that necessarily fits in. It just fell out into my lap. So, let's just see what we got here. Random word. Chicken. Random number 32. So, we get the reverse sun as our root card. Huh. All right. Well, we got a bunch of different pieces that are already showing up. So our root card is the reverse sun. So the sun is about openness and honesty and joy that comes with, with the freedom of just being exactly who you are and not giving a fuck about what anyone thinks about that, you know? But also accepting other people as they um, express their truth. The sun reversed is when there is no acceptance for expressing truth. Um, it also shows, like, maybe expressing true intentions, how it can cause disharmony. Because here, this is true intentions causing, like, massive harmony all around you. But here, it's like true intentions kind of cause a bit of chaos. Uh disharmony. I shouldn't say chaos. Um, now with the card that kind of flies out, we get the five of pentacles. And the five of pentacles is really about sort of feeling judged, you know, and that definitely happens in the sun too. So we have these two cards that kind of show um, judgment and disharmony. Now, the three of cups is about us and a bunch of people that we've gone through the shit with, you know? We've gone through all of these emotional trials, and that's shown in the fish who swallows all the people, but here the people together, they work their way out, and they're kind of celebrating. So this is um, a common emotional bond with people that we've gone through emotional trials with. Now, I'm just going to see what um, the fish is representing. Let's pull a card for the fish. Super weird. So this would theoretically be the trial that we go through. And the three of pentacles is about um, creative collaboration. So here it's like these three co-workers that have worked together, you know, and, but somehow that actual working together that they do is like the emotional trial that they go through. And here, they're just sort of celebrating. Now, how does that tie in with this truth causing disharmony and sort of feeling really judged? Because both of these cards would show things that bring us closer together. So let's just see what the bridge is here. 
anxiety. Now, I'm going to put one more card because this is basically showing um, that a lot of the disharmony and, and the feelings of judgment might be coming mostly from ourselves and uh, from our anxiety. They might be more in our head than in the actual world. Um, so let's just look at this for a second here. Okay, so I think what we have happening now, there is this feeling of disharmony, and maybe it's a feeling of when we say exactly how we feel and sort of express our truth, it's a feeling that we are being judged, right? And we are completely alone in our specific truth. Now, this card is essentially showing that a lot of that might be just be anxiety, and it's mostly in our heads, and it isn't necessarily reality. Because when I look at this, this is a pretty supportive group. So, um, as far as what this day the energy that it brings, this looks like it's a shot to actually work together with other people and strengthen the emotional bonds and strengthen the creations that we're making with other people um, because the card that comes out here is the Ace of Cups. And this is just about accepting happiness, like on any level. So what could be happening here is sort of, uh, the conditions would allow us to accept happiness on a base level, so we're not all caught in our head just fucking worried about shit, and it really looks like it's about, you know, speaking our truth, or, or being exactly who we are, uh, because these people are very supportive, and they are, we're all kind of part of the same thing. We have created each other. So the judgment, if there is judgment there, it's totally fucking bogus because we all got to where we are together, you know? So you can't judge like one person in the team when you were all working together, you know? Anyway, so it might be a good opportunity to just accept happiness and sort of accept the people who we are here with, the people that we have created our reality with, and to sort of, like, get together and fucking celebrate and just try to be happy, you know, instead of feeling, like, super judged and, like, our truth is going to cause disharmony because everything that shows up in the center shows that that's not really true. So it's interesting, and as far as the two, 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 whatever, that day, we get a couple of threes. So what else is there to say? If you have any thoughts about this, feel free to leave a comment, and if you have any requests for other readings that you would like to see, feel free to leave those in the comments as well, and peace.